All right, let's get back to our forecast. It is Friday night, so we want to know how our weekend is shaping up. Uh, Robert mentioned some rainfall. He says that hang tight, though, because this is likely going to come when we're sleeping, this first bout of rain, yes. and then it tends to get a little bit more severe on Sunday. That's right. I don't think I would say 60 to 70 percent of the weekend is actually going to be fairly nice. Uh, most of Saturday will be dry. The early part of Sunday will also be dry. It's late tonight and Sunday afternoon. That's what we're concerned about. Really concerned about the system moving in here uh, for Sunday afternoon. That's why we've already pulled the trigger on a severe day. We're going to watch rain and possibly severe thunderstorms developing along a cold front, which I'll show you here in a second. Now, all modes of severe weather certainly possible. Damaging winds, large hail, frequent lightning, even a few tornadoes out there. But there are still a few wild cards that could mess up the forecast a little bit, which I'll show you here in just a second. First, live look outside. Oh, it is gorgeous out there. No matter where you look, look at the sunset over uh, Cavanaugh Hill there in Poto, 77 degrees, 70 in Rogers. Picture perfect evening out there. Again, rain is still several hours away for Northwest Arkansas. Temperatures mostly right around 70. Eureka Springs has dipped down into the upper 60s, mid 70s for the River Valley. Take you hour by hour here and you can see a couple of sprinkles by 10 o'clock, mainly across McDonald County, extreme northern Benton County as well. The main slug of moisture will arrive after midnight. You can see it here and it mostly will stay north of Highway 412. As you can see here, a lot of it will actually stay into extreme southern Missouri, but this will bring with it some very heavy rainfall, which is why we're worried about some localized flash flooding for Benton, Carroll, maybe northern Madison County. I think once you get south of Springdale that most everybody will be dry. It really won't be a problem, especially the River Valley will also remain dry then. We start to watch this cold front on Sunday. If we get a lot of cloud cover, that could throw a wrench in the severe weather development. So we want some clouds Sunday morning, obviously, but the models are showing a line of showers and thunderstorms developing and then a secondary line uh, really developing Sunday evening. There could be embedded severe storms within this line, but the models really showing it blowing up once it's almost out of our area, which is good news. Again, this is one run of one model, so you have to take it with a grain of salt, but by Monday morning, all the activity is over and we're drying out. We talked about this, the threats, flash flooding, damaging winds, large hail, and maybe a couple of isolated tornadoes, enhanced risk for the entire area out there. And within that, we have a 15% chance of significant severe weather and a, a hatched area across north, northern parts of our viewing area. That's where the weather could get really rough. We're talking about the potential for tornadoes stronger than EF2, a two inch diameter plus hail, wind gusts over 70 miles an hour. Lows tonight will mostly bottom out in the mid 50s. Rebound tomorrow, another warm day, upper 70s to mid 80s out there. After the severe weather Sunday, we get a nice day on Monday, and then we start to watch uh, another system roll in here Tuesday night and into Wednesday. But look at how quickly those temperatures fall off late next week. Mid to lower 60s for highs. Same thing for the River Valley. Severe weather possible on Sunday. And then a nice day Monday before more inclement weather in here for the middle part of next week. And River Valley also cooling off. Hiawassee is what we forecasted for yesterday. Got it right. So congratulations to Donna Fayetteville. She will get the Darby Bybee umbrella. Tomorrow we'll take you into Southern Scott County. 83 is what we're forecasting for the town of Bowles. Stay with us. Jordan Black has everything you need to know for the Hogs game tomorrow. Next.